Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where I like to keep things simple, easy, and delicious for you. Today, I'm going to show you a mashup between chicken parmesan and meatloaf. Now, I know a lot of people have made New Year's resolutions and they're wanting to eat healthier. So, with this meatloaf, I'm going to be using ground chicken, and that's that chicken parmesan. All right, I'm going to show you how simple and how easy this is going to be, but it's going to be so full of flavor, you're not going to miss the original chicken parmesan. All right, so if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all, back here behind me, right here, this was a video that I am working on, and it is the dump cake. All right, so if you hear a lot of beeping, that's what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and show you the ingredients so you can get it all ready, and then we're gonna put it together. Okay, chicken parmesan meatloaf. What we're gonna start off with is I have one pound of ground chicken here. We got one egg that I'm gonna lightly beaten, a quarter cup of milk, I have a quarter cup of panko crumbs or you can use bread crumbs now i like to use the panko crumbs right here because it just gives it a light airy crispier um, crumb to your dish all right so that's why i use that now we also have some parmesan cheese here i'm looking to grate about half a cup of it now i've got mozzarella cheese here that we're going to be using now these are slices you can also use shredded mozzarella cheese if you would like. Now for our seasonings, I have salt, pepper, I have some minced onion here. We've got garlic powder, parsley, lots of parsley, lots of Italian seasonings going in, and then I've got my pasta sauce here. Now stay tuned y'all, I'm going to show you how we're going to build this up and you are going to be amazed. And you're probably going to want to go out and make your own. All right. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Now, what you wanna do is prepare your baking pan or your meatloaf dish. Now, if you're using your meatloaf pan, then you can just spray it lightly and that should be fine. Now, I'm just using a baking dish here with some parchment paper on it because what I'm gonna do is just freeform my meatloaf. So you can do it either way you would like. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and get a large bowl and then we're gonna add our ground chicken to it. Okay. There we go. Take out that. All right, now to that we're gonna add everything else. <laughs> All right, to our ground chicken, we're gonna add our quarter cup of panko crumbs or bread crumbs. All right, I'm gonna add my one egg that I had just lightly beaten, a quarter cup of milk. Now, I'm just gonna lightly judge these. So <laughs> about a quarter teaspoon of salt, because we're gonna be adding the cheese to it, so that'll have enough salt in it. All right, and then I'm gonna add some pepper, probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm gonna sprinkle in some garlic powder, maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon of that. Now, I've got some minced onion here. I'm going to put about, let me take that off right there. Um, one, two, three tablespoons. We're gonna give it some flavor. All right, I'm adding all my spices right now, y'all, so that's what it is. Italian seasoning. One, two. That looks good. So about um, two teaspoons of that. And then I've got some parsley going in, probably around the same amount. So we're going to shake that in. Okay, that looks good. All right, so I've got my Parmesan cheese here, and what I'm gonna do is just start shredding away into my meatloaf mixture here. I'm using a very fine shred here, if you can see that. 
I'm just gonna keep going. Cause you know, this is Parmesan chicken meatloaf. So we really want that Parmesan to be the predominant flavor in this meatloaf. So I'm looking at about half a cup here. And that looks really good, right there. All right, now I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to mix it up well. I'm gonna be using my little disposable gloves that I love to use when I'm making meatloaves or meatballs or anything like that that I need a quick clean up with. All right, my fingers don't know where to go. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's go in. Now at this point, you want to start looking at it and getting a feel for it. And if it's too wet, add some more breadcrumbs. And if it's not wet enough, you can add a little bit more milk, all right? All right, it smells so good already. I can smell that Parmesan in there. Mm. All those seasonings. Oh yeah, that's looking good. All right, what I'm gonna do is add some more breadcrumbs to this. I think I'm gonna need some. All right, I just kind of emptied out that bag because that's all I had left. Now you want this moist, okay? You don't want to dry it out too much or you're gonna have dry chicken, all right? So I think this right here is looking really good. If you can see that right there, you don't want to over mix it either because we don't want to break up all of the, the meat, okay? Then it will be tough. <laughs> All right, that looks great. Now what I'm gonna do is bring my pan over here and I'm gonna pour this on top of it and then we're gonna free form our meatloaf here. All right, got my pan here. I still got my glove on right here that I've been mixing with. All right, just kind of put it in the center of your pan. There we go. We're going to freeform it now. Okay, that's looking really good right there. Perfect. All right, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and take my gloves off, pull it inside out, and then pull this one inside out through that one. And just do that. All right, y'all, if you're interested in the gloves, these are like $14, but there's like a thousand of them in the box. <laughs> and I got these from Amazon, so I will link it down below if you want to check these out. All right, so there is the meatloaf right there, if you can see that. It's kind of light. So I've got my pasta sauce here. Let me move this out of the way. Open this. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to put some into this half cup container here. And then I'm going to spread it on the meatloaf here. Just on the top. If it drips over, yum, right? All right. That's looking really good. <laughs> All right. This now is ready to go into my oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. We're going to come back and I'm going to do some finishing touches for it and then we're going to give it a try y'all. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I've pulled out my meatloaf out of the oven. I had reached a temperature internal of 165, which is what we were looking for. Now what I'm going to do is take my mozzarella cheese. Now I'm using the slices. If you want to use the shreds, that's totally fine also. And I'm going to lay them across the meatloaf here. All right. So I got my piece. All right. I'm going to probably wind up with four pieces going across the top. <laughs> There we go, just like that. All right, so I am going to place this back in the oven for about five minutes, maybe even less. All I'm looking for is this cheese to get nice and melty and bubbly. All right, I'll be back. 
All right, y'all, look at that. And that's what I'm talking about right there. That is so delicious. And I've already taken a bite, and it is so tender. All right, y'all, look at that. All right, I sliced it up. I paired it with some linguine and some extra little sauce because that's how you do chicken parmesan, right? All right, I'm taking a bite. Oh my gosh, that mozzarella cheese. Mm. Y'all, it tastes just like chicken parmesan. <laughs> Now I've made the original chicken parmesan and I will link that down below if you want to check that one out. And that's where you pan fry your chicken and bake it in the oven and then pair it with your spaghetti and your sauce and you put the cheese on top. All right. But this one is a fast, delicious way to make it and it tastes amazing. All right, go get some ground chicken. You know what's on your list for, the, for New Year's resolutions? <laughs> All right, y'all. Comment down below, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification, and you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. All right, y'all, I will see you on my next episode.